everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Allie and today is my first update but it's kind of update number two for the throwback 30 project pan I'm just gonna kind of speed through this quickly I have dinner to make and I just wanted to get my update posted um, I will in my editing I will link the project the prompt the item I chose what my original goal was starting weights current weights and all that jazz over here somewhere sure um, so I'm just going to kind of run through each item um, let you know what my goal was how many uses I currently have on it and we'll go from there alright so the first product I have is the truly um, star kisser lip mask and this is a plumping lip mask that you just kind of apply for three to five minutes rinse it off excuse me my goal was 10 uses and I have used this 10 times. So this is a completed project, prompt, however you want to look at it. This one is done. Next we have the um, Alamar Lip Gloss. My goal, and this is in the shade Birthday Suit, my goal is to finish this. I have used this a total of 7 times. I started up here, but now I am currently about halfway. Once it completely settles, I know I better know how to mark it. Um, so seven uses. My goal is to finish. I still have a little ways to go. The next um, product I have is the Illuminati Electric Pink Gel Liner. My goal is to use this 15 times. Here is what it looks like. I didn't sharpen it, but it's fine. Um, I have used this three times. One of those uses is for today, but I'm going to count it. So, three uses. I have my goal is 15. I still have a little ways to go on this one. Next is the Morgan Taylor um, Mistress of Mayhem nail polish. My goal is to finish this as a lefty, uh, like a, a hefty, lofty goal for someone who does not paint their nails very often. But my goal is to finish this. I want to finish a polish and this is a polish that I will wear like year round. It is this shimmery like gold shimmer green. Um, I have used this five times. I am focusing on another polish right now that's in a different project because it's a usage goal versus a finish goal. So I want to kind of meet my goal on that first and then focus solely on this one. I do use this twice every time I use it. So I use it as a my toes and my fingers um, but I don't count it as two uses I only count it as one so it should go by relatively quickly because of the fact that I use this every twice every time I as two two purposes I guess is the best way to put it. anyway so yeah I still have a little ways to go on this one all right next is my essence shine 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 gloss my goal is to finish this and I have used this 47 times I'm about, it's not settled, but I'm about halfway or so. It was brand new, right at the top when I um, brought this in. Same thing with the other gloss, they are both brand new. Um, I keep this at work, it sits like on my desk and I apply it pretty much once a day at work. Or I reapply, but I don't count reapplications. Um, I love this gloss, I've bought it in a couple more shades. Super comfortable, super cheap. So I still have a little ways to go to finish this off. Next was my ABH Brow Gel. My goal was to finish this. I have used this a total of 15 times and she is empty. So I have another empty. So I've even like sat here and like tried to get it off the brush but the brush is like completely dry. So this one is empty. Next is my J Cat Glitter. Um, it's in the it's a deep purple in the shade Royal Highness. So it looks like it's a loose glitter. My goal is to use this ten times. I have only used this once, and it is as an accent nail um, with that other polish that I'm working on. I find it super pretty. Um, a little pain to get off, but it's fine. Um, so yeah, one use out of ten. Have a little bit more to go, but I definitely think I can meet my goal. Next is my Maybelline Liquid Blush. My goal is to use this 10 times. And I think I'm doing relatively well for someone who does not wear a lot of liquid blush. 
Um, I've used this four times. This is what it looks like. Four times. And two times per month. So I think I can definitely get this done by the end of the project. I've just been kind of using it as like a no makeup makeup day. Pop a little of a liquid blush on. Top it off with some setting powder and kind of walk out the door with some mascara. Um, so six more uses to go to get my to meet my goal. The next product I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid um, Lipstick in the shade Box of Chocolate. It is this like purple toned brown. My goal is to use this 15 times, and I have used it three, which is still. Not a lot of progress, but it's still really good because we're coming up into fall, and this is definitely a fall shade for me. I wear a lot of the browner tones, blacks, um, deep berry reds um, during fall and like Christmas, so this one is definitely going to get its uses during the colder months. The next product I have is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Glow Primer. I bought this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it was just too gold for my face, so I could not use this as a primer for my face. Um, so I mixed it with a lotion that I was working on, and so my goal was to finish this. I have used this eight times, and she is empty. So eight uses for a dollar. It, it works. So I just mixed it with a lotion and applied it pretty much all over my body, and it had some shimmery action going on. But eight uses, and it's out of here. Next is my Makeup Forever Wherever Walnut Lip Liner. My goal is to finish this and it's getting to, I, I sharpen it every time I use it because I like a thin, you know, lip line as crisp as possible. Um, so it's getting to the point to where it is roughly the same size as the cat. Getting a little bit more difficult to sharpen. Um, so once I can't really sharpen it anymore or the pencil itself breaks off, I will consider it done. The next product or products that I have are the Pacifica Cherry Primer and Pacifica Cherry um, Setting Spray. My goal was to finish both and I have finished both. Um, I used I used this liner seven times. I don't know if I said that. Um, I have used the primer eight times to finish it and the setting spray 12 times to finish this. I did reapply the setting spray throughout the day. I took it with me when I was wearing it. Um, so I did I did not count reapplications, but the days that I did wear it, I did reapply it. So it went by a little faster because of that. Next is my Revolution Renaissance Flick Liquid Liner, and this is what it looks like. My goal is to just kind of get some use out of it through this project. It's one of my oldest liquid liners, but it still works perfectly fine. I am wearing it today. I've only used it eight times, but that's okay. I have really watery eyes, and so like this eye like doesn't hold product very well, no matter what I've used what I'm using, how I set my primer, if I wear a primer, if I wear a concealer, whatever. It doesn't work. Um, so I'm, I haven't been wearing a lot of liquid liner, but eight uses, it's going strong. I think I bought this like two years ago and it's still beautifully black and it's still going. So it's going to be here for a while. Next is my um, Pacifica Vegan, v Vegan Collagen Everyday Lotion with SPF 30. Um, this was brand new. I had only used this once before the product project. My goal is to finish this. I have used this a total of 30 times and I was up here from the very beginning and now I am about right here. Um, about halfway. So I think over the next couple of months I can probably get this finished. I'm really bad at wearing SPF. I did not wear this every day within the last two months. It's really bad. I probably could have had this finished within two months. But I just wasn't wearing makeup. I wasn't wearing SPF. SPF's a whole brand new thing for me regarding for my face unless I'm out in the sun. So this did not go as quickly as I planned. But that's okay. 
So I still have this SPF and I'm sure it's coming up on expiration. Um, so yeah. The next product that I have is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is like a deluxe sample. Um, and the scent, flavor, shade, um, mint cocoa. My goal is to finish this. I have used this 20 times. I still have a lot left. You don't need a lot of this um, for your lips at night. Again, I haven't, self-care has not been a priority in my life the last couple of months, which is a problem. Um, so I've only used this 20 times. I definitely think it's gonna take a long, long time to finish this. This will probably be in until the very end of the product, project, whatever. Next is my Morphe Jeffree Star um, liquid lipstick in the shade Red Rum. My goal is to use this 10 times and I have not used this at all. I'm just not really interested in wearing red lipsticks right now, especially a liquid lipstick that's like this bright, vibrant, blue-toned red. Um, I just have not been interested in red lipstick lately. Probably around Christmas time, I will wear more of a red lip or Valentine's Day, New Year's, around that time frame. So I can meet my 10 uses probably with no issue. I just need to get into a seasonal holiday era of where red is kind of a standard, per se. So yeah, this one's still here. Alright, um, my next product, which I had zero plans of using until like Christmas, um, is the Bath & Body Works Twisted Peppermint Lotion. This was completely full. It was It's old, but it was like brand new um, when I brought this in two months ago. I have used this a total of 10 times. It's very liquidy, so it, a lot went a long way because I used a lot of it. But um, I am now down to here. I have a lot of progress. A lot, a lot of progress. I think if I use this 10 more times, maybe 5. Maybe 5 more times, I can have this finished. Um, which my goal is to finish. Next, I have a ColourPop Single Shadow in the shade Sailor. This is what it looks like. It is just kind of this brown tone metallic shimmery shade. My goal is to hit pan in this. I've only used it five times. Super Sock Shadows are really hard to hit pan on kind of in my opinion, like opinion because they are really creamy and when you use it you have to use like a packing brush and it like moves it moves in the pan so like you think you hit pan and then you hit your brush in it and then the pan is gone so five uses still have not hit pan still have a long ways to go the next product is a l'oreal single shadow in the shade rose chrome um, I actually don't use this on my eyes. I've been using this as a highlighter. It's very similar to the highlighter I'm working on in this project. So I've just been kind of rotating between the two. Um, this is what it looks like. My goal is to hit pan. Um, I have only used this three times. So I have a long way to go, especially because this is a embossed type pan. There's a lot of detail. And I have to knock the detail off in order to hit pan. So this will be in here for a while as well. The next product, <coughs> Jesus. The next product that I have is my James Charles palette in the shade Mary. My goal is to hit pan. I have only used this two times. It is this shade right here. This like matte, like terracotta shade. I've only used it twice and I've actually been using it as a blush. It is a pressed pigment, um, so I'm a little weary of wearing it on my eyes um, because I have some weird reactions to some red eyeshadows. My eyes get a little itchy um, because it is more of a reddish, pinkish tone. I have been a little weary of wearing it on my eyes, so I've been wearing it as a blush. I'm wearing it today as blush 
make it some really vague and basic today. Um, but two uses, still haven't hit pan. It's going to take a little while. I'll keep working. The next product that I have is my ABH um, Luminous Foundation. My goal was to finish this, and I because of the packaging, I was not 100% positive of how much was left. I have used this nine times, and I have scraped out every tiny little bit of amount that I can get, and it is finished. I cannot scrape out any more at all. So she is done, which I'm excited because this was expensive. This is like 40 bucks. Not too expensive, but expensive at the same time. Next was the Ulta Gryffindor Mini Eyeshadow Palette. The shade I had was Howler. If you hear a bunch of racket, it's my dog and my cat playing. Um, my, the shade I had was Howler. My goal is to hit pan. It is this shade right here. This matte deep red shade. I have used this two times. Um, I've made a pretty decent dip in those two uses. So I was using a pretty detailed brush for like my outer corner. But two uses and I still have not hit pan. I wouldn't expect to hit pan in two uses if you have. That's kind of a problem. Um, so it'll be in again. Maybe next round I can get this knocked out. Then I have my Elemis um, Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago. Um, this is like a, an exfoliating pad, like facial pad. Uh, it says it comes with 60. I've used this before, so I'm not sure how many I have used um, previously, like prior to the project. Um, I used this 23 times. I do have some sensitive skin. So I don't use a daily type exfoliant um, because my skin gets a little irritated. But 23 uses, so if I if there is hypothetically 60 in here, I would still have a little bit of ways to go. Um, so this one is staying in as well. Next we have Glass Bowl, which is a ColourPop Single Shadow. Um, my goal is to hit pan in this. This is what it looks like. This is purple, like pink toned, iridescent eyeshadow. Um, I have used this twice, um, and my goal is to hit pan. So I haven't used it enough, and I definitely need to use it some more. The next product I have is my Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette, and it's the shade honey. My goal is to hit pan and I have used this three times. It is this shade right here. I've just been kind of using it right like in the end. like Just kind of like at the end of the pan. Um, my goal is to hit pan. I've only used it three times. So this one does have a little longer in the project as well. And then I also have my Becca highlighter in the shade Lilac Geode. My goal is to hit pan in this one as well. This is a mini highlighter. This is what it looks like. Kind of similar to the L'Oreal eyeshadow. I've only used this three times as well. So I do have a little bit of work to kind of get going on this one. All right, next are, these are the things that are like kind of like in a palette or like, or in like multiple, it's a category that contains multiple products. Um, the next product I have is my ABH eyeshadow palette. My goal is to hit pan in half the shades. And as you can see, I have pan in two shades. I have pan in tempera. And I have Pan in Cypress Umber, starting from Tempera. Um, I have used Tempera eight times, Golden Ochre twice, Vermeer twice, Boyan Fresco twice, Antique Bronze twice. I have not used Love Letter at all. And then Cypress Umber I have used eight times. 
Then Raw Sienna, I have not used at all. Burnt Orange, I've used once. Uh, Primavera, I have used twice. Red Ochre, I've used twice. Venetian Red and Warm Taupe, I have not used at all. And Real Gar, I have used once. So I do have Pan in two. So I only need five more shades to meet my goal. I am actually kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of working on this Blend Fresco as well as these two shimmer shades, the Vermeer and um, Primavera. I'm trying to get those in and then I will kind of decide what I decide to pick next. The next palette that I have is the ABH Contour Kit. Um, I'm only working on the top row which is the brightener, a bronzer, or contour, and then like the um, highlighter in here. So vanilla, fawn, and sand. I have used vanilla six times, fawn four times, and sand three times. My goal is to hit pan in all of these shades. I have not used it enough, so I definitely need to use it a lot more. Next, I have six eyeshadows that I pulled in for the Hunger Games, um, Hunger Panning Project. Um, they are six ColourPop single shadows. I've only used two of these, which is this green fire I have used one time, and then this orangey brown matte shade Paper Tiger I have used once as well. I have not used either one of these or either one of these at all yet. And my goal is to use these ten times each. Lastly is the Turn and Burn project, um, which is a bunch of samples. I, I chose five. Five. One of them was the Laneige Water Lip Sleeping Mask. My goal is to finish all of these products. I have used this 16 times, and this one is empty. Oh, just kidding. The water bank I have used 16 times. This one still has a lot. The Laneige water sleeping mask I have used 11 times, and this is the empty one. They said the same thing on my notes, so I don't know what I was thinking. Next, I've got the Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Lavender Toner. My goal is obviously to finish this. I have only used this four times, but I have about half of it gone. It was brand new. Then I have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration and dry, for dry and parched skin. This is a moisturizer. I have used this three times and I've used this just on my hands. I haven't used this on my face. Is it for your face? This is head to toe. I've only used this three times. This one is still pretty full. Lastly, I have my uh, Dermalogica Daily Micro Exfoliant. This is a exfoliating powder. This is just a little sample. I've only used this once because I've been working on the exfoliating pads first. Um, so once I finish those, I will focus more on this one. Those are all of my products. Um, I was able to hit my goal on one, two, three, four, five five single products, one of my sample products, and hit pan on two of my shades in my ABH eyeshadow palette. So that's relatively good for my first update slash second update. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, just give me a big thumbs up. Sorry it was kind of quick. It wasn't a lot of information. I will link everything up um, on the side for you guys so you can kind of see it as I'm running and rushing through it. Um, I just hope everybody has a wonderful day and thank you for stopping by. I will see you guys next time. Bye.